A police recording has revealed that John Banks claimed Kim.com actually offered him $200,000 as a campaign donation, but Banks told them he turned it down as too outrageous. The recording was played to the Auckland High Court, where Banks is accused of filing a false electoral return. Amanda Gillies reports. John Banks couldn't recall a $50,000 donation from Kim.com, but he certainly remembered his first impression of the internet tycoon, and it wasn't exactly flattering. He's a very interesting man, and he's on another planet. I hadn't heard of Mega Upload. I thought that Mega Upload was something my cat did when it ate too much. <laughs> but he was quite taken by Dotcom's wife, Mona. Who happens to be one of the most beautiful looking women on earth, which we found. Interesting. John Banks told police he had visited Dotcom's mansion three times. He said he never really wanted to go and never stayed that long. He said he only took his wife there because he thought she'd find it interesting. The court heard during one visit Dotcom offered him a $200,000 donation, but he declined, saying it was too much, an outrageous amount. Banks said he suggested $25,000. He couldn't remember what Dotcom replied or if any money changed hands. But he could recall they were in a conservatory with a 600 kilogram statue of a fighting warrior on display. He also told police he couldn't remember a $15,000 donation from Sky City. He said he only read about that in a newspaper two years later. He immediately bailed up his treasurer, who called Sky City. And they said they wanted it recorded anonymously. That's certainly not what Sky City testified. I see myself as an honest trader. Straight up, straight down. I don't believe I've done anything dishonest in inverted commas in my life. And he pointed out he declared a $10,000 cheque from a businessman the same month Dotcom made his donation. Amanda Gillies, 3 News.